Jim C. S. Charlottetown set sail this morning for the Mediterranean, taking part in a NATO counterterrorism operation. More than 250 sailors are on board the frigate, and while many have been deployed before, that doesn't make saying goodbye this time any easier. CTV's Gareth McDonald with our top story. They've had this day marked in their calendars for weeks, but it was still tough. We knew this day was coming, so it's just uh, getting it done and. The sooner we leave, the sooner we come back. He's one of more than 250 sailors aboard HMCS Charlottetown, destined for a mission in the Mediterranean. This morning, a final chance to bid farewell to loved ones, emotions mixed. A little bit of sadness, disappointment that he's going, but, um, you know, just, you know, very proud of him and just looking forward to when he comes home. For ordinary seaman Brent Watts, that return home can't come soon enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, I miss him already. You know, I got to spend a little bit of time with him, but it's going to be hard, not going to lie. It's been a busy year for the Charlottetown. The frigate just arrived back from a six-month mission to Libya in September. The Charlottetown's expected to arrive in the Mediterranean sometime next week. Once there, it'll be assisting with NATO's counterterrorism efforts in the region. It means we're going to be patrolling the Mediterranean looking for uh, weapons of mass destruction or constituents that could be used to design such things. The mission's expected to last about six months, a long, difficult time apart for these families, but one that will be just a little easier for this couple. We weren't sure if they would fly him home or what that would entail, so while he was out sailing, I emailed him and asked him if he wanted to get married on Saturday. <laughs> Spontaneously moving their June wedding up a few months, not exactly a tough decision. A little bit taken back, but it's been the love of my life, so definitely it was a, kind of a no-brainer. And as the ship departs, their thoughts turn to the mission ahead, but families on shore always top of mind. When we get to our first port, I'll be the first one calling. And his family and others will be waiting to greet them when they return home. Gareth McDonald, CTV News, Halifax.